Here at Lancaster. Now Stokes on the other end of the spectrum is a very interesting fighter. He trains at UFC gym. I mean, he rolls with some of the best guys that you can train with on the East Coast period. Pat Sabatini, um, he goes out there and he trains every day real hard. He takes the sport real serious. I think he's way better than a number two record. And uh, I was actually talking to him last night. He really feels like he's going to be able to pull this one off, get his first win tonight. And uh, he's looking good so far. He's working to take that. Oh, Cass is working the back now. 
You can look there. Don't punch. As long as Stokes has that hand on the ground, he can't strike. Don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. I'm going to have to say it's one and one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. Let's we'll see who wants some more on that play. Wawa, 44 ounces. Diet Coke, we can get short the amount of syrup in there as well. Third and final round, we're going to see who wants some more. Justin Stokes. In the red corner. Kyle Cassidy in the blue. Stokes, I believe, was a perfect guy in uh, BJ Jones. Pretty significant for an amateur fighter. Step your left, step your left leg around. There you go. Don't pop in his face. Don't pop in his face. Oh, he just gave up his back, though. Castle looking slow. This is dangerous right here, Eric, because uh, amateur rounds, you're talking two minute rounds. You have no time there to, uh, to waste. Stokes has to get out. Uh, he has to turn around right now. Get aggressive. the back of the knees are Dave, he was looking to take him down with it and he did look at Stokes oh now Stokes gets his back wow this is where that purple belt might come into play Stokes is a very good problem to have on your back now we have Castle on top Corner's telling him to stand up. 30 seconds left. Fight. Six minutes of action between the two. Yeah, they both worked their asses off. They both definitely broke. I'm not a judge, but I would I would have to say that.
Mount Castle with massive victory and great job. You obviously knew what was coming. You knew that Jesse was a good jiu-jitsu guy. You picked down the veterans break. Tell me about working on that coming into this fight. Uh, I don't know. I've always done wrestling, so it's pretty easy. I uh, wish my cardio was a little better, but work on that for the next one. Absolutely, cardio is very important. You did a great job, like I said, you had a nice game plan coming in. You work with perfection. Great take down the fence. Do those again. We're going to see you back at WCC come soon. Absolutely. December, we have a card. Kyle Pass, ladies and gentlemen.